guys we made a major upgrade in terms of quality i got a new camera so we're gonna actually outfit this with the the wide lens so y'all can see me a bit better okay that is much better hey guys welcome back to my channel it has been a hot minute since i've filmed any type of youtube video but i am so happy to be back this video is something that i've been putting off for about a year now and i'll even like insert a little clip from my empty home tour from last year where i took you guys through an entire tour of the house that geo and i live in right now as you can see that garage was empty and I had been meaning to do a completed home gym tour for the longest time but we actually didn't finish it until the beginning of this month so now that it's fully complete fully furnished I'm gonna take you guys through the home gym show y'all exactly what we got going on in there I am training clients now so that's another huge life update I officially opened my one-on-one -on -one coaching applications and I'm coaching five amazing girls currently two of them are in person so we do use that home gym to train those girls so Coffee ready, phone ready. Let's go ahead and go downstairs. Give you guys the full experience of what you would see when you walk in. So there's a little bench here for you to, you know, sit, for us to put our shoes on, whatever, for clients to just put their belongings on there. Got this from Target, by the way. And then if you turn, I made this guy as a little DIY mat. It says, leave your BS outside. It's time to get to work, okay? I love it. This mat is very much me. I got the mat itself from Walmart for like five bucks and I already had some spray paint lying around. So I literally just created a little stencil and then I just spray painted it on and I think it looks amazing. But let's hit y'all with a little montage once we open the gym. Let's go. gym like I said if y'all have been here since the initial empty home tour this is just absolutely <laughs> insane a complete change in 180 from when I had it last year and we're just very very thankful to have the resources available to invest in a space like this very excited to kind of take you guys along every inch and speck of the gym as well as um, where we got everything from so I'll also put all the links to what I have in the description of this video so y'all can check that out but let's get started so as soon as clients walk in they are immediately greeted by this wall mirror that Gio and I installed we got the mirrors from Home Depot and if you look closely there are actually three mirrors and they're they're separated like that so we had to install them and mount them onto the wall via nails and I actually got this from Lowe's and if you look closely it's very very fine so it kind of reminds me of like a football stadium type of grass or like turf because originally we wanted turf but then after thinking about it I was like okay well I don't really want you know fake leaves sticking up from the ground so i feel like this is the perfect little stretching area for clients or if they want to do anything where they're looking at that full length mirror which i got from walmart they'd be able to just kind of work out here we also have this dumbbell tower so we got this from costco i don't think that they sell it anymore but the brand is called inspire and they actually have a website where you guys can purchase this from i believe that this entire stand from fives to thirties, it's in five pound increments. It was $300, so we definitely love this tower, but we are looking to upgrade into a full like dumbbell rack over here on this side, so that way we can have like a bunch of dumbbells from fives all the way down to fifties. But as of right now, boom, cute little weight tower. We also have a 20 pound kettlebell that Gio got from a local store. This JBL speaker, which is where I be blasting music. You're wondering what this is. So if we ever wanted to work out with the garage open, then this prevents any mosquitoes or flies from coming in and it's great. Next up, if we turn to this side, this is where the meat and bones are happening, guys. This is where everything is going on. 
So actually, let me start with the lighting in this garage because whenever we first moved in, all we had was that light and it was very, very dim. Like, I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. So it's powered by remote control. So if we turn the lights off and turn this light on, that's it. <laughs> That's literally it. I feel like I'm being interrogated at the squat rack and it's just not the move. So <laughs> let me turn this off. And then once you see like these lights turn back on, boom, such a huge difference in the way that it lights up the area. Next up is our rack cage. So we got this entire thing from Rep Fitness. Gio is very much a Rep Fitness guy, very, very brand loyal, but it comes with the entire cage. So what you see here, like with the holes here and the holes in the back. That's what initially came with this cage. I believe it's called the Rep 1000. It also comes with the thin pull-up bar. It has a thicker cylinder pull-up bar in the back as well, but we actually had to remove the thicker pull-up bar to install the lat attachment. So we love Rep because they're just constantly coming out with new and innovative products to add to their cages. Cause this is the first time that I've seen an actual cable attachment be able to attach to a rack, which is amazing. And this is like our newest addition, the lat pull-down. In the back here, you'll see the weight storage area. So this going all the way down on either side for us to store our weights was not there before. That actually came separately. So again, whenever you purchase the rack, it just comes up to here. Anything additional is just what we bought separately. So again, I'll link everything in the description for you guys. These clips are from Rogue though, because we just like the durability of these a little bit more versus these clips that you typically see at commercial gyms. I hate, I hate putting those on barbells. So we definitely love these. And then our bench, this is also from Rep Fitness and I believe this is the 5200 bench. It's very, very heavy, very adjustable. So we love it, but she, <laughs> she was a little expensive. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. This is Gio's favorite toy. It's our Midas bar and it just essentially has like the gold on the outside. You know, it's very, very fancy and we love it. It's a little bit different from the barbell that we usually have, which is this black one in the back here. So whenever you purchase the weight storage section of this rack, it also comes with additional storage for any barbells that you have. So we just have a typical 45 pound barbell standing there as well as an easy curl bar right here. But then again, our newest favorite toy is this lat attachment. So it has like a little chain there for you to put the lat attachment on. And then if you didn't want to take it off, then you could just hang it right there. It's a little storage area for your lat pull down, which is nice. And then down here, I typically have clients doing like seated rows or something with this. And then you would just put the two weights on either side and it is plate loaded. Once we go to the back wall over here, what you'll see is this tricep dip attachment. So if you see the holes here, basically what happens is that you can attach it to the safeties of our rack and you can just adjust it up and down according to your height. Right next to it is this freaking chalk bag that Gio bought from Rogue. He uses it to deadlift and it's very extra, but he just loves the little chalk bag. So we have that in the corner there. But then we have our little pegboard with all of our cable accessories. And this is like one of my favorite parts of our home gym. I think it just looks so clean, so fresh, and everything is just laid out very, very nicely. These are actually four pegboards that we bought from Home Depot and you can just attach them together. Like there's little slits here for you to connect them and then little holes here as well. We keep all of our cable attachments here. The lat pull down straight bar came with the cable attachment. We have like a closed grip, ergonomic, cable attachments as well, and then some wrist wraps and whatnot. This is for doing any glute kickbacks from Bike Up by Chloe, Chloe Gotts Chalks brand. We have some bands from my friend Abby's brand, LNA Movement, Fit Nonstop, Bike Up by Chloe. Always support your friends, small businesses. We love that here. And then I got these from Amazon. These also came with the light attachment actually, but this entire wall it's just curated to perfection and I'm obsessed with it. This is our prized <laughs> possession. Other than like everything else in the freaking gym, this is our freaking AC unit. It keeps the gym at a cool temperature and we actually got this thermometer on Amazon and it tells you what the temperature is like in here. It's actually not too hot in here right now, but 
Usually if I don't have this on, it'll go all the way up to like 88, 89, and it's just not the move. So we love having this here and we just kind of turn it on two or three hours before we work out, before we have clients coming over. So that way it keeps the room nice and cool. Trash can from Walmart, little disinfecting wipes, our little dry erase board, and then our fridge. And basically we just keep, you know, little waters and refreshments here for clients. But yeah, guys, that's the home gym. I'm obsessed. How can I literally forget the most important thing that keeps this place from breaking? Our freaking stall mats. We get our stall mats from Tractor Supply. They weigh around 90 pounds each, guys. So it's a struggle to even put them in here in the first place, but these are all four by six foot rectangles and any sides that don't fit, we just kind of cut with an X-Acto knife. They're not perfect. They're not perfect. Don't let Gio see this because he'll get really depressed. But <laughs> otherwise, I'm really happy with how it looks, okay? Like I don't really care about that too much and clients don't even step over there anyway. So it's like, you can't even see any imperfections that they have anyway, but I think that covers it. All right, you guys, that about wraps up the home gym tour. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video and found it really helpful. It has been a dream of mine and Geo to own our own gym, whether that be in a warehouse one day or just this so far. I think that we've definitely made leaps and bounds ever since a year ago when all we had was a rack and then a different bench and like one barbell and maybe like two or three plates or whatever. We just kind of made do with what we got, but <laughs> Geo's like standing in the background. I feel like they can definitely see you from the mirror in the back there. <laughs> Overall, we are very thankful for being able to have all of this and to finally be training clients here. Me opening up my application to take on clients and definitely, you know, bringing them to my home, a space where I keep very obviously personal and private was a very scary thing. But at the same time, I was like, you know what? The only thing is that I just hope that you guys respect the space, you know, treat it with respect because we've spent so much money and time and sweat and tears on this place and just trying to furnish it to the best of our ability to have you guys come here and train with us. So yeah, just overall very, very exciting things and we feel very blessed and grateful to just have all of this. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy. Once again, everything will be in the description and stay tuned for more videos coming so, so soon. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. You know, tell me what your favorite part was of the gym. I would love to know. I will talk to you guys so, so soon. So stay tuned for the next video and peace.